Welcome to Searching for Records with Ancestry Library Edition, brought to you by the Halton Hills Public Library. Ancestry Library Edition is a powerful tool to help you research your family's history. It can be accessed for free through the Halton Hills Public Library with your library card. If you have never logged on to Ancestry Library Edition and need some help, please see our previous video about accessing Ancestry Library Edition. Ancestry Library Edition is an online database that contains thousands of records of births, marriages, deaths, census information, immigration records and more for the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and many other countries. It is the same database as subscription services Ancestry.com and Ancestry.ca offer, except the Library Edition does not allow for personalization, such as being able to upload a family tree. To start with a basic search, click on the green button that says Begin Searching, found on the Ancestry Library Edition homepage. Add what information you know about your ancestor to the search fields provided. First name and middle name, if known, last name, a place your ancestor might have lived, and their birth year. If you are uncertain of the birth year, you can click on the calculator beside that field for help in estimating. Once you fill in a field, you also have the option of selecting how exact you want the search results. You can search names by exactly what you typed, a phonetic match of what you typed, a name that has a similar meaning or spelling as the one you typed, or an initial that matches the name you typed. You can search places by an exact community or a broader geographical area. Birth year can be searched exact to one year or plus minus up to 10 years. As historical records may contain errors or inaccuracies, be careful of how precise you want to make a search, as it may omit relevant results. Here are the results of a search for Agnes Alberta Bessie, who lived in Halton, Ontario, Canada, and was born in 1874. No other search terms or limiters were used. This search returned 20,440 results at the time of the search. It is common to get a lot of results for a search, as the search is matching any of the search terms selected. This is where some genealogy detective skills have to be used to assess and determine which records are actually those of your ancestor. The more information you have about a person, the easier it is. Let's take a closer look at the results of our initial search for Agnes Alberta Bessie. This was a successful search, with the first three results listed being records for this person. We have a record for Agnes's birth, her marriage, and her name listed on the 1891 Census of Canada. We can be confident that the birth record is for the right person, as the name, place, and date all match with what we knew when adding the information to the search. Information in the birth record also matches information contained in the other two records that follow, such as her parents' names being listed in all three records. Note, however, that the second record, for her marriage, has a spelling error in her first name. This is likely a transcription error from the original source. Also, she is listed as Agnes in the first two records, but is recorded by her middle name, Alberta, in the census record. The next three records listed in the results match some of the search terms, but are not for the right person. The first of these results is for an Agnes Walsh Bessie. The given and last names match, but the record is for another Agnes Bessie who was born in Norfolk. The second result is for an Agnes Bessie in Newfoundland, and the third is a record for an Agnes Bessie in Germany. There are different ways you can narrow your search results to better find records for your ancestor. One way is to use the Show More Options drop-down menu to add search fields. This can also be helpful if you are looking specifically for a certain type of record. For example, if you are looking for a marriage certificate, Adding a spouse's name may narrow down the search results to help find the correct document. Be cautious about adding too much information to a search. Ancestry will search by keyword, so you will get search results based on all of the terms you include in the search. Another way of narrowing your search results is to use the filters found on the left side of the screen. Click on a category, such as birth, marriage, and death, and narrow the results to only show records in that category or narrow the records by location or date. Using these filters with our original search and narrowing the categories to records for marriage and divorce in Canada in the 1900s, the number of results went from the original 20,440 to 28. Here are a few more search tips. 
When filling in search fields, sometimes less information will yield better results. At first, try filling in just a few fields, like the example we used with first and last names, a location, and birth year. Try different spellings of a name. Names recorded verbally may have been misspelled or misheard. People often went by short forms or nicknames, and that was the name recorded. Names were often anglicized when people immigrated to an English-speaking country. You will not always find something in your searches. While there are thousands of records that have been digitized and added to Ancestry, not all records are publicly available. Unfortunately, some records could also have been lost or destroyed over the years. Be prepared to spend a lot of time searching. Researching can be a rewarding but time-consuming hobby. Genealogy is like a treasure hunt. It's a lot of work getting there, but exciting when you find the treasure. Finally, make sure you keep detailed notes about your searches and results. The best system is whatever one works well for you. Recording the name of each person you have searched for and listing what records you've searched for and what you found out can save you from repeating the same search twice. It's also a good idea to record information about immediate family members of the person you're searching. You might need details such as a sibling's name to verify whether or not another record that you find is accurate. Now you can begin searching and start to uncover the story of your family history. If you would like to learn more about using Ancestry Library Edition with the Halton Hills Public Library, look for additional videos in our Researching Your Family History series. Good luck with your research!